In this video, I will show you how to create motion graphic based product advertisements in DaVinci Resolve. So for this, I have these three assets and you can find them from the link in the description. So make sure you download them and head over to DaVinci Resolve. Now over here, you need to create a new timeline. Now you can either go with a vertical setting. If you unselect the use project setting, click on format. You can click on vertical resolution if you are going for a vertical format of the video. This can be done for social media, but for this video, I will stick with the default settings. So let's hit create. Okay, so the first thing that we will do here is to add in our background. Now this is the background for the video. You can just zoom this in and make sure you change the Y as well. So you can go with zoom at 1.1 and then Y at minus 54. And let's also go over to composite and change this to, let's say 70. So change the opacity to 70. Now go over to this wooden table and what you can do is also increase the size of this by clicking on zoom. So you can drag the zoom to change the size for this. So let's go with two and let's also change the opacity. So let's say maybe 80 for this. All right. So now for our animation of the product. So in this case, this is a burger and I have this image of a floating burger. So we're going to animate this and we will have to break this down. So basically we have to separate all these parts. And for that, let me just remove this. For that, we will use this Fusion Composition. So make sure you drag this in and open in Fusion page. Now right here, add your background and change the alpha to zero. Click on this multi-merge and connect this with the media out. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our image. If you connect this with the multi-merge, you will see that you have this option, media in one. So what you can do is change this size, first of all, to 0.4. And for this one, we're going to start from the bottom. So let's say this bottom patty, you can say, or the patty from at the lower side. So let's just call this one. Patty lower. And let's drag in this polygon, connect this with the media end. Now I'm just going to quickly draw this shape so that this enables us to see where the patty is. And now you can zoom in and make sure to change the position of this polygon. And you need to make sure that no other part of this, you can say image is showing only this patty at the bottom. So you need to manually do this. And this is how I did it. Now, the next thing you need to do is add in another image and this is the same Im image by the way same burger floating image and you need to connect this with the media multi-merge and over here let's again resize this to 0 0.4 and this time this will be i think the beef this part right here so again let's drag in our polygon connect this with the media in two and again i'm going to draw this quickly this polygon and as you can see we now have this patty visible now for this one i'm going to do slightly different something different which is i'm going to also add another you can say point right here and another point right here but make sure that this only covers the patty nothing else is showing so make sure this cheese right here is not showing so something like this looks okay now all right so I'm going to do this quickly for the rest of this, you can say image. You can follow along and once I have completed, then we will continue from there. All right, so we have this done. As you can see, I have created these or you can say separated all of these and now okay so i think one is left i think i forgot this one maybe yeah so maybe this was left uh let me just 
resize this 0 0.4 okay so okay i think i kind of messed it up so this was like the petty upper you can say maybe and this was the onion i guess okay let me just make sure yeah all right so as you can see that all of these have been separated and i hope you have already done that as well now we're going to add some animation to each of these now the way that we're going to do that is very simple all you need to do is just use these layers right here and we will use the center from this side to animate this so first of all let's go over at let's say 70 and create a keyframe for this patty at 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and right here at 0 let's change this let's or let's create another keyframe and the one right here at 70 let's change this to 0. Point. okay this was too much 0. 0.45 maybe let's go with 0. 0.45 and you will see that there's a slight animation now we're going to do the same thing for the rest of these and for this beef i'm going to position this right here above the patty as you can see and you can again zoom in to make sure that this is looking good so somewhere around here looks fine let's create a keyframe and then over here at zero let's also move this up where it was and let's do the same thing with cheese and by the way this time i'm just going to go make sure i'm at zero and then create a keyframe and then right here at maybe let's say 75 or or 71 let's say 71 keyframes let's move this right here and again with the tomato or tomato whatever you prefer to call it create a keyframe right here and then add maybe 72 let's move this right here and then at 73 let's do the same thing for pickle add zero and then at 73 let's move this right here again same thing with onion as well this time at 74 i will move this right here and then at the next is lettuce so again create a keyframe and then at 75 let's move this right here and then finally for the patty at 70 let's just move this right here perfect so here you can see we have the animation done so if we play this right now this is how it will look but you will notice one thing right here which is that the lettuce it takes a little more time or it, let's say it's moving in a after the patty above this has been animated so let me just check okay so let us right here add 75 and then add the patty also right here let's move the patty add 76 and then move this down right here so now if we play this yep now it looks okay so this was the main animation and by the way one more thing i want to do is with the patty right here at the bottom let's just make sure to add a drop shadow so press control space search for drop shadow and you can add this right here so change the drop angle to let's say 90 and the drop distance let's reduce this to 0 0.15 and if you go back to the main timeline you will notice that you have this drop shadow right here and this makes it look more natural you can say so if you play this right now this is how it will look now let's go back to the comp 
the fusion comp and make sure to select all these keyframes from here so for this one what we need to do is just make sure to press all of these and basically their displacement will be selected automatically so all of these that we all these keyframes that we created we have them now okay by the way you could have just simply clicked on the multi merge so for example if you click on multi merge yeah you will be able to select all of these so now click on zoom to fit and from here select all these keyframe and hit s on the keyboard so if we play this right now you will notice a smooth animation perfect now right here at let's say two i'm going to create a keyframe at position and then at zero i'm going to move this out of the screen so let's change the y move this out of the screen and if you play this this is how it will look so you can select this option right here and make sure to click on this select position y click right here select this click right here select this and this will also basically ease in so if you play this this is how it looks all right so one more thing let's say we want to add a text so for this let's again add a fusion comp or let's say not let's let's not add a fusion comp let's just simply add a text so you can just go over to titles and add this text plus and from here let's just call this burger and change this to let's say extra bold right here and change the size as well so 0 0.25 maybe and let's go over to layout and from here let's change the y position right here okay so let's also go over add shading and from here we can just select this outline so this looks much nicer and from here let's just go over to maybe 1.15 and over here add text make sure you go back to the text and from here create a keyframe add right on and then maybe add let's say 15 let's change this to zero so if you play this this is how it will look and just so that we can add some more animation to it you can just simply go over to effects and add this adjustment clip on top of all of these compositions and the images and the text that we created and right here let's go over to two create a keyframe add zoom and then five frames ahead let's go with 1.1 1 .1. so if you play this right now perfect and let's go all the way to the end right here and let's change this to 1.2 or let's just keep this at 1.15 so if you play this here you can see we have this nice looking animation done so this is how you can create these motion graphic based product advertisements in davinci resolve now this was for a horizontal kind of video but of course you can do the same thing for a vertical video as well so if you want something for social media let's say you can do this in the vertical resolution as well so i hope you will find this video useful and i will see you in the next one